Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been quite a while, uh, but I thought I would pop back on here, get started with a spring, kind of winter to spring transition. I know I have such a hard time transitioning, especially from winter to spring because I haven't seen my legs and my arms in a very long time. So, you know, like I have to ease into dresses and shorts and like sleepless things. Today I'm actually partnering up with Farfetch. Again, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite um, online edits, online style edits. It's just, you can find everything from big household designers to emerging brands and designers. So you can find a little bit of everything. And I always, like, I never leave disappointed. I always find either like the newest it bag or something that I'm like, oh my God, I've never seen this before. And I grab it and um, it ends up being like something I like love forever. One of the items I will be styling from Farfetch is this Chloe tote that I had my eye on last year, but it just kept selling out. I could not get my hands on it. And they always had the big ones, but the small ones kept selling out. And I actually had this in my cart, Farfetch, went to buy, it was sold out. And I was like, oh no. And then the next day they restocked it. So I grabbed it really quick. So if you want it, you better get it now because it's probably gonna sell out again. And then I got, I've been eyeballing these Stella McCartney um, lace up loafers for a very very long time and I just pulled the trigger went ahead and got them and they actually fit my very very wide foot which never happens I saw them online and I was like there is no way my wide foot is gonna fit into these shoes and they are actually very comfortable <laughs> so um, I love Stella McCartney shoes I think they're so unique you can always spot a Stella shoe from like a mile away so I am so so happy to own these now Oh, and I do have a code for you guys. It is AB15YT for 15% off. So don't forget to use that um, after you've done a little spring shopping for yourself. But we will go ahead and get into the video. So the first look I styled was this top. This shirt, I this is actually new, but I have this shirt in so many different variations, pink, green, red, solid blue, dark blue, light blue, because I wear this shirt, this style of shirt with everything. I love it with a sleek bun, with like wide leg jeans, untucked for a messy look. I love it with faux leather pants, skinny jeans. You can just style this type of shirt with anything. So I did these jeans right here. I'm actually gonna scoot over so I can show you my look here. But I did this very slim jean with the Chloe bag. I think this is called the Woody Tote in like smaller mini. But I did it with this because I thought this added a really nice pop of like summer, summer texture, summer material. They actually love the faux leather look. I actually put these on after I filmed the outfit. So now I'm like, dang, why don't I wear these? Because I actually love this a lot more. But you can't go wrong with a good pair of denim anyways. I think it's such like a very just kind of effortless outfit especially with a pair of loafers or even just like an easy sandal it is a go-to outfit of mine for spring next i did this dress that is not on a hanger and this is just a simple black long sleeve dress i mean they have these everywhere and i did it with the stella um loafers because i thought like if i'm wearing something super basic on top i need to either add like a really fun hair accessory a fun shoe or both and just a simple bag um, you know, if you have a fun pair of shoes, you can really just get away with wearing the most basic outfit on top. That's why I love investing in accessories like bags, shoes, hair accessories, because you can just wear the most basic single piece of clothing and it just makes your outfit completely different. It makes it so fashion forward. So always have a fun pair of shoes on hand. Next is this dress right here i love these just like simple black eyelet dresses and this one has so much volume that i just like had to have it this is actually a newer item but um you could do a dress like that with the stella loafers i think it's so cool to pair like a really feminine girly dress with like a really cool pair of loafers but obviously you could go the sandal route if you just want something easy to throw on or heels if you're dressing up but i did pair it with the Chloe Woody Tote, because honestly, this bag just goes with everything. Added this, you could obviously do a clutch, you could do anything. I mean, it's... Then, my next outfit, this was one of my favorites. These faux leather green pants in just a basic padded tank. Um, this is, again, such an easy outfit to throw together. I always try to... I love jeans, I love denim. Such a big denim fan, but I always try to do like a trouser or just something that's not a jean, because I think it just kind of elevates your look like 
like crazy. I think if you are looking to like elevate your style and be a little bit more fashion forward, buying things like trousers and full leather pants, just replace it with a jean. You don't have to think too hard about it. Just do it. So I paired, um, I did like a Jacquemus like mini crossbody bag with just a pair of like brown leather sandals and there's your outfit. I mean, you can dress that up, down, you could do sneakers with it and it's still a very cool look. Next is, well, where's the rest of this outfit? Oh, it's kind of scattered. I did jeans, the white tank and just this gray blazer. I'm just, I'm just like such a blazer girl that I will wear them all year round even if it's 100 degrees. <laughs> just scrunch up the sleeve a little bit, who cares? But um, you can do it with shorts. You can do it with jeans. So I think just like, you know, if you're wanting to add that extra layering piece to um, just a tank top and jeans, a blazer is the way to go, especially at the beginning of spring because it's not super hot, so you can still get away with those really light layering pieces. And um, if you wanted to add even more of like pops of spring, you could do a more of like a spring textured bag like the Chloe one. Um, and I love that this isn't stark white, so it really like blends and like meshes really well with these like muted tones. Next I did, how cute is, look at this skirt. It's got, it's like a puffer skirt, but it's got embellished, not embellished. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm blanking right now. I just paired it with a really simple crop sweater and you could do, um, you could do boots, heels, sandals, sneakers. This is just kind of one of those cutesy fun outfits. It's not really practical. I really wouldn't go run errands in this, but if I was meeting a friend for coffee, um, then I would probably wear something like this or meeting a friend for lunch or something. It's like a daytime, a little bit more of like a cutesy daytime outfit. Also, you could um, dress down this skirt um, by just doing like a tank top and sneakers even, so it doesn't have to be like a cropped, like serious thing. You could obviously dress it down. And then lastly, I did a pair of pleated wide leg jeans, which is a staple of mine all year round, these guys right here are my just like staple pleated wide leg. They're so comfortable, I wear them all year. But I paired it with just a simple printed top. I've been seeing these like overly printed, crazy floral prints everywhere. And I'm like, oh, I'm such a basics girl. Um, I stopped wearing like tons of print a few years ago because I would find that I would wear them and then get tired of them after a few wears because I'm like, oh my god, this print again. <laughs> like I've already I've already overdone it. I've worn it as much as I can, but I'm starting to really be drawn towards these prints. And I think you can really get your wear out of them by like layering them, wearing them with different colored jeans, doing them with like a leather. Um, as long as you're kind of breaking them up between prints, you can definitely get your wear for the season. The prints are drawing me back, drawing me back in. And these were just items didn't quite make it to the video. Again, my code for Farfetch is AB15YT for 15% off. So definitely, definitely take advantage of that uh, for the new season. Get yourself something nice. But thank you so much for tuning in and see you next time. Let me know what you want to see down below. Bye!